All right, welcome back into the kitchen. So remember the hack when you do this at home. If you're going to use the bowl, some kind of liner so that way you do it, it won't get stuck. Yeah, so what I like to do is this is actually one of the bags that when you're uh, you're at the grocery store and you're yeah. getting some of your produce, right? Yeah. I take that bag and turn it inside out because I don't, you know, germs and things on the outside. Turn that bag inside out and then use it. Okay, perfect. And then we're just going to simply invert this onto whatever we're going to serve it on. At that point, we can remove the bowl. And, and then, then look, when you remove that, look how beautiful your cheese ball is. Wow, right? Right? How about I that? know. And then look at this garnish. It's very simple. We'll take some of our chopped chives, just like so. And you can do this last moment, or you can do it, like I said, a couple days in advance. Yeah, the why walnuts? buy the cheese ball when you can make your own? Maybe some and of I'm our interested pimentos. to taste the difference that the honey makes in it. Yeah, the honey's gonna make it a little bit sweet, but guess what? We got that sharp cheddar. We got the sweetness from the pimentos, from the honey. We got a little bit of that onion, kind of a bite in it. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the real fatty. It's gonna cut through it. The fatty comes obviously right. from our nuts and from our cheese as well. So it's a really good balanced bite. And then okay. we're just gonna finish it off. And then we take out the. You know, and again, we're gonna use what we made, but you could do crackers. You could yeah, do whatever. Yeah, crackers you want. work really well. But check this out. So These gonna... work great as well. And we're just going to put those right around the outside. Look at this. Anybody can do this. Do this a couple days in advance. You are going to be the life of the party. And everybody's going to snack on this all night. A good thing about this is because of what it's made out of, it can pretty well stay at room temperature throughout the night. And you're not going to have to worry about it getting, um, you know, getting cold, getting even, even hot, yeah. anything like you that. You don't have to right? worry about it. It's just there. Look you're, at that. Isn't that great? Hey, that was, that was quick. That was easy. And this is something that you guys can take, and I know a lot of you guys are thinking right after Christmas, I can't do any more food. Save this recipe and use it this week as yeah. you continue to have friends and family over uh, or you're getting together to celebrate. And look at how well yeah. this is going to travel. We wrap this with a little bit of plastic film, some saran wrap, mm -hmm. if you will. Just wrap it up just like that. It'll sit right in your back seat. You're good to go. Done. All right. What is your favorite when, when you're going to these New Year's parties? What's one of your favorite dishes to have? Um, it's always your mainstay. Beer. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> just a good. Hey, beer's a go-to for me. Um, so uh, we can. I'll put food away all day. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of meatballs as well. I'll give really? you guys some meatball recipes. I think they're very versatile. You can do a variety of ground meats, but also a variety of sauces. From, from like some Asian inspired to barbecues, that? things like that. It's a great party favor as well. Looking forward to that. Chef Rocky, thank you thank so you. much. Uh, we wish that uh, you would have a happy new year and we'll see you on the other side. We'll see you in 2019, which hey, is weird to year, say. Hey, new year, new you. We're gonna start rocking some recipes in January that are gonna be a lot of the old favorites, a little bit of a twist to make them a little bit more healthy for the new year, new you. New year, new you. Yeah. All right, we'll be back with more Studio 4 after this.